Hi, I'm Russ Larson, and today we're going to talk about the filter regulator lubricator. The filter regulator lubricator is an important part of your engraving system. It's what links your compressor to your high-speed handpiece. Your compressor hose connects directly to the filter regulator unit using a quick connect. What the filter regulator does is it filters the air and regulates the air pressure before it reaches the handpiece. So the air travels through the regulator, the air is filtered, the regulator regulates the pressure down, it, the air then travels to the lubricator. The lubricator drops a drop of oil into the line, sending it downstream to your handpiece. So the filter regulator lubricator has three important jobs. One, to filter the air, two, to regulate the air pressure down, and three, to lubricate the air going to your so handpiece. So let's take a look at how to set up our filter regulator lubricator for the first time. We have our quick connect coupler here on the end of our air hose. We're going to slide the ring back towards the air hose and just hold it there with your fingers. We're going to push it on the Mel quick connect and release the ring. That locks it into place. That's how the quick connect works. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to thread the bowl off the lubricator and we're going to put oil in the lubricator. We're going to then thread the bowl back on. So I have oil in my bowl. Next thing I'm going to do is pull up on the knob on the top of my regulator, turn it in the, in the direction of the plus arrow to get my pressure up, and you're going to see the gauge start to go up, and we're going to regulate this one up to 40 PSI to run it. Once we have it where we want it, we can just lock the, ling, the ring back in place, and that'll never move. That's set at 40 for good until we pull up on the ring and adjust it if we need to. Next thing we're going to do is set our drip rate. You'll notice here in the sight dome in the top of the lubricator, the oil dripping. If yours isn't dripping, just take your Allen wrench, put it on the top of the lubricator and turn it in the direction of the plus arrow on the top of the lubricator. Plus is for more oil, minus is for less oil. You want to see one to two drops of oil dropping in this sight dome per minute for most of the oil hand pieces. So make sure you got oil dripping here. If you don't have oil dripping, you need to turn it to the plus side more to get oil dripping. Then just time it on your watch or a clock, one to two drops per minute, and make sure it's dripping here. If you can't see oil in the line, don't worry, as long as it's dripping here, it has nowhere else to go. So that's how you connect the air, adjust the pressure, and set the oil drip rate to your handpiece. One thing I forgot to mention is make sure you have your handpiece connected while you're setting the drip rate. It works on back pressure and you need your handpiece connected while you set the drip rate. 